Hey everyone, this is Neerati. Guys, in my previous video, I've shown you the feature of Backinsert that empower you to handle profit and loss of many multi-leg portfolios at one location. So with this feature, you can easily handle combined profit and combined loss of many multi-leg portfolios at one location and that is a strategy card. Now in this video, I'm going to showcase it to you how profit locking and trailing works at the strategy level. So here you can manage strategy wise profit locking and trailing. Please note that the value should be in rupees only. Both the fields that is locking and trailing, they are independent of each other. You can use both the fields at the same time if you want. And if you want to use locking, then you can leave this trailing blank. And if you want to use only trailing, then you can leave this locking blank. These two fields, they work in combination if you are using both at the same time, right? So if profit reaches, let's say 500 rupees, lock minimum profit at 400 rupees. So this field you can utilize to lock minimum profit or to use as a break even. Um, in short, if profit reaches 500 rupees, then lock minimum profit at 400 rupees. Now in this case, if profit reaches, let's say 500 rupees, but it did not go up to your mentioned target. Herein you have mentioned 1000 rupees as your target. That is your maximum profit, right? So in case if profit reaches to 500 rupees, but it did not go up to your target, that is 1000 rupees, then back in so will lock your minimum profit at 400 rupees. So this is the profit locking feature, right? Now comes another field that is profit trailing. Please note that trailing will work only after profit locking, okay? So profit trailing, for every increase in profit of let's say 50 rupees, trail profit by 10 rupees, okay? So this field is for profit trailing, always keep some gap between, in, uh, between every increase in profit by and trail profit by because uh, as you can see that I have kept a difference of 40 rupees, right, between these two fields. So always keep some gap between increase in profit and trail profit, okay? Now I'm gonna apply this. So now, 1000 rupees is my mentioned target, my maximum profit, and 500 rupees if profit reaches to lock minimum profit at 400 rupees, then every increase in profit by 50 rupees, trail profit by 10 rupees right? So you have to mention it in rupees only. Both are independent. If you have mentioned locking, then trail will only work after reaching this point, okay? If profit reaches to, right? So I'm going to apply this. Just choose portfolio of your choice, recalibrate it, run it over simulator mode, right? So under this grid, you can see the, you can track the locking and the trailing feature. So as you can see here, at 9.23 a.m. my profit is locked at 400 rupees, right? Just see, my profit is locked at 400 rupees on current PNL 505. You might be wondering that I have mentioned here as 500 if profit reaches to. Why it has shown you 505 figure here? That's because Backinzo works on realistic mode. Backinzo calculates on the granular databases, so it captured close to the real value and not on the hypothetical value. Otherwise, uh, it would have printed only and only 500, right? But it has, you know, um, it captured close to the real value. Okay? So, the moment it reached 500 rupees, the profit was logged at 400 rupees, right? And trailing, as I said, that it will work only if profit reaches to uh, whatever I have mentioned here, 500 rupees, right? So the moment it reached 500 rupees and my profit was logged at 400 rupees, thereafter trailed work. So right after 40 seconds at 9.23 a.m., my profit was logged at 400 and just after 40 seconds, 9.23, 40 seconds, right? My profit was trailed to 410 for this strategy, right? From 505, it has increased to more than 50 points because back in doesn't work on the hypothetical values. So the moment it increased to 50 
points more, my profit was trailed at 410. That is 10 points it got trailed at, right? So I hope you like this feature of back in zoo. If yes, don't forget to smash like button and stay tuned for more such videos. Bye-bye.